Kurt decides to try to jump over with his bike since he's done some big jumps before. Unfortunately when Kurt jumps, he hits the invisible wall and is electrocuted before falling into the abyss. Dana realizes that Marty was right about someone controlling things behind the scenes, and the technicians use Kurt's blood to fill another stone carving. Holden and Dana get in the VR and drive back to the cabin because Holden thinks they could find a road behind it. His words are suddenly interrupted by a blade coming at him from behind, instantly killing him. Dana screams when she sees there's a zombie in the VR, which is now going off the road and falling into the lake. The zombie tries to grab Dana, but she just swims away while the technicians at the lab celebrate with a drink. Daniel doesn't understand why they're happy considering Dana is alive, but Steve explains the sacrifice of the untouched is optional as long as it's done last and she gets to suffer first. While Dana reaches the pier and is attacked by a zombie, the lab employees throw a party. The demolition team stays defensive and says the glitch was caused by a power reroute from upstairs, which Gary thinks doesn't make sense. Then the phone connects.